Hey everybody, welcome back to the Coin Pusher. Today we're doing a one million dollar buy-in. They only gave us one quarter for a million dollars. Oh my goodness, we got a quarter back. I was pretty worried. This is by far, I think, the most expensive quarter we've ever paid for. A million dollars for one quarter, that's insane. Oh nice, come on, come on. Oh sweet, we got three quarters back. Oh yeah. All right, let's, let's get them in there. There they are. Come on, big push. Oh, sweet. Come on, come on. Oh, my goodness. Just like that, we're done. Oh, my. We're down a million dollars like that. Oh, all right. Well, I, I think there's enough in there to make it worthwhile. Let's go do another buying and be right back. All right, I'm back. Paid another million dollars. We got one more quarter, so we got two million dollars wrapped up in this game now. So hopefully, hopefully it gets going. Come on! Oh my goodness! Look at that! Wow! We got a bunch of quarters now. Oh my! Yeah, they raised the they raised the price of the game, but they also reduced the price of the red shelves. Used to the red shelves were ten times the buy-in. Now you just have to pay two times the buy-in. So the red shelves are only going to cost us two million to get them moved. Oh my goodness. We got three quarters back. That's it. Oh my. It's getting expensive. Hopefully, hopefully this does something good. Well, I've been looking at it for a moment because we got we only got three quarters and kind of worried we're going to lose it all. I think, I think we're going to put them all on the right side. But we only got time to two. Oh, sweet. We got one more quarter. Let's get it in. There it is. Oh, yeah. It's doing good now. Oh, nice. The second wave. Come on. Oh, yeah. Goodness. I was really worried there for a moment. We got a bunch of quarters now. I don't know how many, but it's quite a bit. It's a handful. A good 40 of them or so. Oh, my goodness. Those great big old quarter pyramid right there on the edge that'll help out a bunch I got this puppy loaded up pretty nice what is there for five great big old towers in the plane field the mystery bag look how full that mystery bag looks that thing is massive hopefully they got some really good things in there they got a bunch of gold oh nice that big old tower is falling apart Oh yeah, that's a bunch of ten thousand dollar chips, five thousand dollar chips. We got we got big back two million dollars. So this thing gonna take a little while, I think. That was the last of the quarters. Let me grab the quarters real quick. Oh, sweet, we got a bunch of quarters on that push. All right, I'm back. We ain't made a penny yet, not a single penny. We got a whole bunch of quarters, but we're still down two million dollars. So hopefully it gets going here soon. Oh yeah, we got the mystery bag. That was that was the only mystery bag in the whole game. Goodness, I hope that's a really good. Wow, we're getting back all kinds of quarters. Ten thousand dollar chip. Oh yeah, some gold bars about to go. Doing pretty good. Getting some nice pushes. Wow, that tire on the left. Oh my goodness. And the right. Wow. Two tires in one push. Oh my goodness. It's all going. Doing phenomenally good. Yeah, they changed the, the prices of everything. It's a lot more expensive for the for the initial buy-in, but it's like really cheap to get the red shelves now. So, I mean, I, I guess it makes sense. They, they make most of their money off of people losing on that first quarter. 
So if they can increase the price of that. That's what? I don't know, probably 40, 40 million probably. 40 quarters or more. I'm sure as, at least that many has went through before we finally got this to go. So somebody lost quite, quite a bit. We're going to make out like a bandit, hopefully. I'm hoping we do. That mystery bag looked really full. And we're getting a really good round right now. I mean, we got all the $10,000 chips from what I can see. And, you know, I guess there's some of these towers right here, isn't there? Working on the $5,000 chips now. There is a bunch of gold in there. Goodness. I just now realized that is a lot of gold. All over on the red shelves. Oh yeah, fifteen thousand dollars on that push. How well it's pushing. And the left side's moving on up pretty good. Actually, struggling a little bit on that right side, huh? Oh my. The right side just started picking up. I seen it moving. Oh uh, yeah. Nice. Come on. A bunch of $5,000 chips on the edge over there on that rat side. Oh my. They're about to go. Nice. Oh yeah, another 15 grand. All right, that was the last of the quarters. I'm gonna grab the quarters, tally it up, and we'll be right back. Nice, made a little under two and a half million dollars on that round. I also got a mystery bag and oh, quite a bit of gold. I think it was like seven or eight ounces of gold. Let's keep her going. See if we can't get her cleared out. So it's everything's pure profit from here on out. Of course, we're gonna end up spending another two million here soon, most likely. We'll check that mystery bag before we do that. I guess all around the game costs a lot more now. I was thinking it was cheaper to get the red shelves, but they increased that too. Because that was one million, now it costs us two million. They doubled it. They ten times the original buy-in and, and then doubled to get the red shelves. I did not realize. They must be uh, losing a little bit of money and need to catch up. We've got a little bit out of them, but like I said, we give most of it back by all the losing games. Somebody must be really raking in the dough for them to change the price that drastic. Hopefully it still works out for us. We, hopefully we can still turn a profit throughout the weeks. Definitely don't want to put up losing videos. 
Now y'all don't want to watch me. We'll see how it goes. I mean, if we can't can't turn a decent profit, we might have to quit. Find another place to go or something. Let's see. We're gonna have four million in this game. Which I think that'll be worth it as long as there's some dice in that mystery bag. I got two million in it right now. So if there's no dice, then it's probably not worth it. Yeah, I don't think there's two million in on the red shelves, is there? Eight, nine, ten, twelve. Nah, I think there's just a little under. There's not even two million up there. So there's gotta be dice or else or else we'd be losing money to, to get the red shelves cleared off. Check it out, see what's in the mystery bag. This will let us know if we should if we should be paying the buy-in or not to get the red shelves. Oh yeah, nice. Oh my goodness. Four? Four dice? Is it worth two million dollars for four dice? Yeah, it, it should be. It said there's a little under two million there, so yeah, it, it'll be worth it. I'd say we go ahead and call them back here and pay that, have them move that. Then we'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. We paid that $2 million. Came back and moved on all this stuff around for us. Hopefully it goes out real well. Loaded it up pretty good. See if we can't get those corners going. Oh, they got some weight right there in the center. Oh my goodness. We just lost, oh my, over 200,000 probably. To the red shelves. Goodness gracious. Well, let's make the best of it. Tower's about to go. Come on, treat us right. Oh, nice. That was a good fall. Pretty well. Get the, let's try getting this right side to catch up. Let's put quite a bit over here on the right. Yeah, that's working. Got a bunch of $10,000 chips on the edge. Yeah, she's got some gold bars also. Did I just see the left side move also? I think I did. Yeah, that left side is moving. 
It helps a lot when you got like, like things like this right here in the center. Starting to lose that tower there in the center. We're about to get it. And uh, it was going. Now I do want to get it. Yes. Just trying to get the corners cleared off first, though. Going across the whole field again. You gotta change it up now and then. You can't just keep on doing the same thing. That right side wasn't moving. All right, that's the last of the quarters. Let me grab the quarters. Tallied up. We'll be right back. Nice, we pulled a little over 1.7 million dollars on that round. And 13 ounces of gold. Let's keep her going, see if we can get all this cleared out of here. I think we're gonna have to load it up real nice though. Thick and deep. We might even get, like, get a couple of those $10,000 chips off the red shelf on that left side. Oh, yeah, it's moving. Come on. Keep this momentum going. Get some power pushes. So that tower on the right is moving forward a bunch. Come on. Yes, I think I seen the left one move. Pretty good progress. Sure did. Oh, nice. There went a $10,000 chip off that red shelf we just got. All right, that was the last of the quarters. We went through them quick. Be right back. All right, let's keep her going. Made a little under $300,000 on that round. I'm hoping these towers will get going here soon. Right, she's got a gold bar. Three gold bars. Uh, let's, let's slow her down a little bit. Oh no, wait. The tower on the rack's moving. Let's stay the same for a moment. A little bit longer. Maybe we're finally getting somewhere. I was going to say maybe we ought to change it up. But we're 
finally got enough pressure in there. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Oh my goodness. We almost got the right one to go. Nice, nice. Not easy. We got the right side cleared off. There's a gold bar in the gutter, but it's nothing I can do about that. We've been pushing that out a while and it ain't gone nowhere. Right there's the last of the quarters though. Let me grab the quarters. We'll be right back. Nice, made $195,000. Six ounces of gold on that round. Let's down this left side, see if we can't get it. This tire on the left get going. Need to get some of these quarters back too. Oh, nice, it's working. Oh yeah, you can do it. Kids slid on down the gutter. Or not the gutter, but the loop chute. It's pushing good now. Yeah, so let's get that last thousand dollars out of there. Come on. got her call cleared out the best I can do anyhow well I'm gonna call them back here they'll put them four dice right back in there where somewhere if you're trying to roll them down to here whatever they land on is what our multipliers are gonna be be right back alrighty they got them four dice in there let's push them on down to that lower shelf hopefully they land on some real nice numbers We went on everything from two to six. If they land on a one, just act like they don't exist. However, we can flip them over. We're gonna attempt to flip them over anyhow. But if they fall over the edge, this edge down here, we're down the gutters, and we lose them. We gotta be cautious of that. Hopefully they land on some nice numbers, turn it a good profit. Come on. Oh my, that's not very good at all. We're at eight right now. Let's see, I'm kind of worrisome that five is uh, the one in the front. But normally, the ones up front are the ones that are going to flip. But we might be able to get that the far left one right there. It looks like it might want to flip. Let's we'll see if we can't get something nicer. Ooh, I don't know. It just leveled out. Oh my goodness. I think we're going to have to... Well, that five might flip to a six. It's pretty, pretty scary business right there. 
We'll see how it goes. We're at eight right now. Come on. Oh, I don't know. It's looking pretty. I'm getting pretty worried. Ah, oh, sweet. We're able to get the six to go. See if we can't get that one, the, four, the right one to go to a four. I'm gonna be cautious with that six though. Oh my goodness. If we lose that one, it's not a big deal because it's not worth anything anyways. We're at nine right now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we lost the one. Can we put the three over to a five? Or are we going to accidentally flip the six over to a two or a four? Come on. Treat us right, coin pusher. Oh my. I thought we lost it all there for a second. Come on. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to call it good enough. Yeah, let's call that good enough before we end up losing it all. All right, well, I'm going to tie the whole game up. We'll multiply it by nine and we'll be right back. Nice. All together, we pulled $4,917,000 out of there. Them dice that totaled up to nine, so we got to multiply it all by nine. Turned it into $44,253,000. That's incredible. Not to mention, we also got 35 ounces of gold. All in all, that's not too bad for a $4 million buy-in. Not bad at all. Well, if y'all enjoyed the videos, do me a favor, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and we'll see you on the next one. Y'all take care.